Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you how to build this small and simple watchtower in Minecraft. But before we go any further, I would like to give some credit where credit is due. I was actually inspired to build this watchtower from a post that I saw on Instagram from a builder by the name of Minecraft Sikai. So I'm going to leave their Instagram link as well as their YouTube channel link down in the description below. Go send them some love because as I said, their build inspired me to make this. Here are all of the blocks that we're going to be using for this build today. Primarily stone bricks, but we're also going to be adding in some texture afterwards with some stone, cobblestone and andesite. So I'd recommend maybe grabbing a stack of all of these that you can then craft down into the stairs, slabs and walls as you see fit. But we're mainly going to be using stone bricks, as I said, and adding the texture afterwards. You're also going to need all of these spruce variants along the rest of the top row. And then along the middle row, we have all of the dark oak variants that we're going to be using and on the bottom row we simply have the miscellaneous items. So once you've found an area to start building in you can grab your stone bricks and mark out all of the four corners of the tower here. So we're going to have one down here, leave a gap of three and then another gap of three and basically just do that for all four sides until you end up with a shape like this. Just a square, three blocks in between all of those. And then in the center of all of those gaps you can have a stone brick stair facing outwards just like this and you can fill the rest in with four stone brick blocks to complete this square shape and should be looking like this. Now you can grab your spruce door and pretty much decide on which one of these four you would like to serve as your entrance way. I'm going to pick this one right here so you just want to go behind this stair, place in a full stone brick block and have your spruce door on top of that. Next up, you can just come to one of the four corners here and on top of this block, we're going to have two more just like that and then two more on the outside with two stone brick stairs on top. So we should have this at the moment where you can then grab your stone brick walls and on top of this top block go up by one, two, three, four, five and six. You can then copy this round three more times to the other corners. Once you got your four corners in, you can then come to where you have your spruce door placed down and either side of it on top of these two full blocks have a regular stair with an upside down one just above it like so and on top of them we can have another full block with a stair in the middle here to make this shape next to our doorway. Now on top of these three blocks we can just have three more full blocks and then two more in the center here. Then we can switch over to our stone brick stairs and have two regular ones facing inwards just like that with two upside down ones above it to make some nice arrow slits or embrasures if you will. And then just on top of these three blocks here we can have three more stone brick stairs or full blocks sorry and then three more on top once again. As for the other three sides, well those are all identical so I'll just show you how to do one of them and you can copy it around afterwards. So on top of this stair here we're going to have one and two iron bars with two full blocks either side of it just like that. And then one more on top of both of those with a stone brick upside down stair in the middle. And now pretty much we just want to repeat what we have over here. So we'll start off with a line of full blocks and then two more in the center here. Once again having a couple more arrow slits with our stairs just to make that little gap in the wall. And then another six blocks on top. And as I said this is the same for the other two sides so go ahead and copy them round as well. Next up you can come to one of the four sides here and the first thing we're going to do is grab two stone brick slabs and just place them on the outer four blocks just like that. What we can then do in front of these two highest walls we're going to have two full blocks just like that with one more in the middle here and then in these gaps we're going to have some upside down stone brick stairs. Then we can switch back over to our slabs again and underneath all of the full blocks we're going to have three slabs and then on top of the full blocks we're going to have three stairs just like that. So we should have this shape at the moment and then what you can do is switch over to your full blocks and we're going to have two of them just like that with two slabs on top of those. And now what you can do is copy this shape round to the other three sides. It's a pretty symmetrical build if you haven't guessed already. 
If you're in the market for just a solid stone watchtower, then this may actually be a pretty good point to stop, but we're going to add our wooden roof on the top here, so if you want to add that, follow along. We're going to come up to where we have our walls in the corners here, and we're just going to add in one, two, three, and four of our strip dark oak logs, and on top of the highest block here, we're going to have a full spruce plank. And then we're going to add two more either side of it on the inside of the build. So just make sure they're on the inside, not the outside like that. So what you can do then on top of these two full blocks is have a spruce stair here and here. It's a little bit weird at the moment, but do stick with me. <laughs> Next to these two stairs, we're going to have a spruce slab. Just make sure it's in line with them. And then we're going to have another spruce plank on top of that slab. Now, as I said, it looks a little bit weird, but you're just going to copy this round to the other four corners. For the next part, you're just going to need some spruce stairs and spruce trap doors, and you want to come to one of the sides here and have two spruce trap doors facing the same direction, and on this top part, we're going to have two stairs facing the same direction. You then want to go to the opposite side over here and just do the same. So this basically just makes the top of the tower look nice and symmetrical, so you don't have something maybe looking like that, which doesn't look the best. So you just want to make sure you got some symmetry up the top here and everything is kind of facing the same way. Next up, grab some of your dark oak wood here and just come to one of the four sides. Once again, doesn't matter which one. And we're just going to have a dark oak slab on the top half of this highest dark oak strip spruce log. So just like that. And then we're going to have a dark oak trap door in front and on top of that slab. So just make sure they're actually on different levels and you don't have something that looks like this, for example. You want to make sure it's in front and on top. But on top of these trap doors, we're going to have two dark oak slabs with a dark oak stair in the middle. And now what we can do is just place in an upside down dark oak stair behind that regular stair, a full block on top of that one, another stair, and then once again, another upside down stair this time, a full block on top of that one, and then a final stair at the top here. And I probably don't even need to say it at this point, you know what's coming, copy it round to the other three sides. The final thing to complete your roof is to just come up to the highest point at the top here and have a dark oak plank in the center. And we're going to go ahead and surround that with some of our dark oak trap doors. We're going to have another dark oak plank on top of this one, then a stone brick wall, a dark oak fence and an iron bar, making a super high point to the top of the watchtower here, which I think looks pretty cool. But now you can just come underneath here, which is a bit precarious because there's currently no floor at the moment, but we're just going to add in a dark oak slab on this block right here so just above where the stairs are and then we're going to have one two and three of our chains with a lantern hanging down from below now you can just hop down to the bottom of the watchtower by the front entrance way here and head on inside and now you can go ahead and grab some of your stone bricks and you simply just want to add one either side of the one we already have placed down with one two and then three above it just like that and then we're going to have an upside down stone brick stair in the middle here just above our doorway. And in front of our doorway, we're going to have one, two, three stone brick slabs and then just go ahead and get rid of the blocks on the floor and replace them with some stone bricks. So if you're by your spruce door here, over on the right hand side is where we're going to be building next. And we want to add in one, two, three, four and five ladders going all the way up to the top. And we can actually just hop up on this ladder here to get a bit of elevation where we're going to place our chest in the center here, just above that upside down stair. And then we're basically going to surround that with some stone brick slabs placing them everywhere we can obviously with the exception of the chest and also the ladder here you're not going to be able to place one there and very lastly we can actually just head down to the bottom floor here and light it up a little bit because it is awfully dark and we're going to do that by placing a chain on the left hand side here with a lantern just below now you can just head up back to the middle floor here and the first thing we're going to do is just look directly at this chest here and then to the right and this is where we're going to have our ladders leading to the top floor just like that. And now from this ladder we can turn around 180 degrees and place in a full stone brick block on that one right there with an upside down stone brick stair in front of it and then two more to the side. And in front of those stairs we're going to have two slabs just like that to complete the ceiling and the 
very last thing to do is to place a chain here with a lantern just below it. And that, to everybody, is the watchtower all done. With the exception of one final thing, and that is to add in the texture using our cobble, stone, and andesite. So really, you just want to place this down as and when you see fit. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You're just trying to make the tower look a little bit more run down and dilapidated. So you should end up with a finished product like this, which I think is a pretty good improvement to just the stone brick. So there we go, everybody. That is the tutorial all done. I really hope it has helped you out and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you ever so much for doing that, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.